What is going on, everybody? Your boy Kyle Summers, your licensed bro therapist, back. And as a man of my word, someone asked me to create a video about how to stop doing things that one, don't make us happy, and two, that we suck at, and also don't make us happy. How do we stop doing that? And I have to think a lot about this particular topic because my brain automatically was kind of associating it with with some things that um, you, I have to be careful about as a, as a therapist making a video like this because if I'm not good at something and I just avoid that, that thing, that could cause disruption in my life. So if driving makes me unhappy, I don't know if I can av avoid driving and I might just seclude myself in my house and that could just completely disrupt the quality of my life. And so his, his reasoning for it was very specific, but again, um, I had to think about this. And so I wanted to kind of simplify it in terms of why do we do things that make us unhappy that we know are bad for us? So let's take a look at the whiteboard and let's look at that a little bit closer. And uh, where the hell my pen go? All right. So what we got here, gang, is this a fil This is a filter. All right. But I want you to think of it as these are beliefs. The beliefs you have in your head, they're there. They got put there by all the experiences in your life, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of that has shaped your beliefs. All right, so when you look at this filter, you think beliefs. Good, great, perfect. And whenever we make a decision over here is the beginning of a decision process. Whenever we make this decision, it's going to pass through this filter of our beliefs and what we choose is going to come out on the other end. And so let's say I'm going to make a decision about what I want to eat. Okay. It's going to pass through this filter and my beliefs of what I'm going to eat is I want to eat something that's good for me. I want to eat something obviously with a lot of protein. I want to eat something that is going to give me the certain number of calories that I'm going for. And ultimately I'm going to make a decision based on what I believe I should be eating. Okay. So whenever we go to make decisions, whether you're aware of it or not, it's going through this filter, AKA your beliefs. So in terms of doing things that make us unhappy, even though we might suck at them, I'm willing to bet that a lot of times when we go through the the process and making a decision it's going through this filter and that filter has some belief that's there that triggers anxiety and so the outcome is based on this belief so in terms of something that I've done that I don't enjoy, but I did it based out of anxiety is that I don't like submitting insurance claims. It's a tedious, tiring process. It's a pain in my ass and dealing with the insurance companies, waiting on payment, just the, the sheer reimbursement of it's determining a value of what I bring to clients and its value says mm, you're not very valuable but I did it because I was afraid that if I don't take insurance I will not be successful and so once I understood that that's why I'm taking insurance I had two options Either I outsource that and I hire someone to submit insurance claims so at least I don't have to be the one that submits them or I just say screw insurance and I'm just not going to take it anymore and I'm going to have a cash only practice and that's okay because I have a damn good practice, I'm a damn good counselor and I know it will succeed. 
And it wasn't until I understood that what my belief was that I could then make that change. So in terms of not doing things that make you unhappy and things that you suck at, you got to understand what your filter is. What is this belief here that's causing you to come out on the other end doing something that makes you unhappy? So in terms of what I'm trying to do with branding myself, and it's, it's a very uncomfortable uncomfortable process because none of it comes natural to me. So there's a lot of day-to-day -day decisions that I make that come to a point to where anxiety is in the way. So what I essentially have to do is I choose a different filter to, to base my decision on. So I'm going to make the same decision, but I'm going to come from a perspective of freedom. The freedom of not having to submit insurance claims. The freedom to be able to set my own schedule the way I want it to, to have the kind of quality of life that I want. The fear is still there. I can't just make the fear just go away, but now there's a different filter that I'm considering in terms of how I'm going to execute my decision and the outcome is going to look a lot different. So stop doing things that make you unhappy. That's simple advice. If it makes you unhappy, if you suck at it and you're not getting any better at it, stop doing it. But if it was as easy as that, people wouldn't smoke, people wouldn't consume unhealthy foods, even though we know it's bad for us, we still do it. So you have to understand why is it that you're still doing it. And once you understand why you can do it, then you can manually put a different filter in place that can give you the freedom to choose differently. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, my name is Kyle Summers, your bro therapist, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.